Hello, I'm William Bates. I'm talking about emotional resilience, the ability to adapt to difficulty. Many things cause us stress, illness, accidents, failure, relationship problems. The impact hurts. But if our motivation is strong and we manage our feelings, we work through it. In the face of trauma or challenges, resilience helps us move forward. Everyone faces stress. We face it better when we look after ourselves physically, emotionally and socially. If we're tired, not eating well and taking no exercise, stress has greater potential to get us down. Making time for ourselves is a priority, especially if we're running on empty. Good self-care supports a positive outlook on life and reduces negative feelings. And because no one's self-sufficient, good relationships matter too. Certainly we must face our own difficulties, but having friends we trust and can talk to puts us in a healthier place. In times of stress, social support lightens our load. So, assuming we look after ourselves, what can we do to improve our resilience? Well, first, we can cultivate self-awareness. Stress arouses feelings that may overwhelm us. If we can't identify those emotions, they're hard to deal with. We need to train ourselves to notice our emotions, work out what they are and why we feel them. Growing in self-awareness improves our response to stress. Second, we can persist with appropriate goals. Sometimes it's right to give up on a goal, but resilient people tend to stick at it. Faced with a challenge, they continue to try, they're motivated, they're committed. They keep working towards realistic goals step by step and so they move forward despite failures and setbacks. Third, we can keep difficulties in perspective. Our first feeling may be, this is a disaster, I can't go on. But then a friend gives us encouragement or we remember problems in the past we overcame. Our perspective shifts and we see a way forward. The difficulty is still there, but now it's a challenge, not an unclimbable mountain. Through a change in perspective, we regain hope and persevere. And fourth, we can control our response to stress. If we think of our lives in terms of power, where does power lie? Is it mainly in our circumstances or mainly in us? It's true difficulties can derail us, but that doesn't mean we're helpless or that we can't return to the track. If we give a difficulty more power than it actually has, we lose hope and motivation. We may not control our circumstances, but we can control our response. So it's good to appreciate what we can do without going to the extreme of thinking it's all down to us. If we do that, whatever goes wrong in our life, we blame ourselves. On this issue of where power lies, we need to adopt a balanced view. Well, that's it from me. Farewell and God bless.